we are going to talk about work energy theorem the theorem states that whenever a work is done on an object and it moves from some point A to B then that work done on that object by all the forces is going to change its kinetic energy so it's going to be KB minus KA and we are going to prove this for varying force where the force is changing if the force is changing then the expression for the work done to go from A to B is going to be some position A the integral from some position A to some position B F dx notice that I'm doing a one-dimensional case to keep things simple in general it would be in three dimensions I have to use R and all that stuff but in one dimension I'm just gonna keep this simple <clears throat> so we know F equals MA which we write as M dv dt and we also know the velocity v equals dx dt and therefore I can now say dx equals v dt so I'm going to use these results and I'm going to use these results in this particular equation so I'll get from xa to xb I have m dv dt and I have a v dt over here and what I can do now, you can notice, is that I can cancel, just go ahead and cancel these dt's. And so what I would have done now is basically by canceling this, I have changed the variable of integration. Before I was integrating with respect to x, and now I'm going to integrate with respect to v. Therefore, I have to change my limits appropriately. So I'm just going to write it down what I did. I have changing the variable of integration from x to v so this becomes now velocity at a to velocity at b I have an m I have v and I have a dv I can just go ahead and remove that m out and so I have VA to VB, VDV, and this is now a simple integral. To remind you that integral of x to the power n dx is always x to the power n plus 1 divided by n plus 1. And if you have some limits here from xA to xB, you put a small stick here, write here xA and xB, substitute the upper limit first, and then the lower limit so if you do the same thing you see there's a VDV here and n equals 1 so when I integrate this I get V square by 2 from VA to VB and so now I substitute the upper limit so that's VB square over 2 minus the lower limit VA square over 2 and notice what I have over here is a half mv square at b, so that's the kinetic energy at b. And this is the half mv square at a, so that's the kinetic energy at a. So what we have proved is that the work done by the net force, because remember, this is a net force, Newton's second law. So work done by the net force equals change in kinetic energy.